everyone. Right now, Amanda and I are on a little backpacking trip here <laughs> in the Georgia mountains on the Appalachian Trail. And we just got poured on. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Luckily, we found this cozy little shelter. Oh, it's so beautiful, as hopefully you can see in the background. We are loving it. And we thought it would be a perfect time to record a video on how we stay low waste while traveling and on trips. <music> Welcome back to Going Green. In this video, we're gonna be giving you lots of tips and tricks on some ways that we've learned how to travel as zero waste as possible. Over lots of years. Yes, <laughs> and you're definitely gonna to wanna to stick around because we explain how these zero waste and low waste practices are gonna save you money. Did you know that in some places, tourists produce up to twice as much waste as local residents? which is why a key part of staying as low waste as possible on a trip is having a zero waste essentials packing list. But before we get into this list, we wanna make sure that you know that we have detailed videos on each of these items in our list. And they're either already out or coming soon. In each of those videos, we discuss these products, which ones are our favorites, why we chose them, you know, the environmental effects, the health effects, all the benefits to using each of these items, all that good stuff. And all the links are in the description below. Now we're gonna give you our pack list. We're also going to get into some sustainable traveling tips along the way. And we also have some fun snippets from our trip. First, for the most important one of all, and we always have these with us, and you probably do already as well, it is your handy dandy water bottle. Personally, we love using our vacuum sealed water bottle because it's multi-use and you can fill it with hot and cold items. Yeah, stuff like smoothies, tea, and coffee, which we both do often on trips. And depending on where you're going, it may be a good idea to get a filtering water bottle or filter because obviously our health is most important. For example, on our trip, we use our Sawyer filter because we were hiking and the water we were drinking was from streams. But having a water bottle on you comes in handy for using this filter most of the time anyways. And I have an epic glass water bottle and I love it because I can fill it at any sink or tap while on my trip. But I only use it on trips where I'm driving and I talk about why that's the case in my review video on it. You can refill your water bottle or large container at most grocery stores for super cheap. And if you already bought a gallon jug, you can also refill it at these places, which is still better than nothing. Yeah, and at places like restaurants and coffee shops as well. This is something that Amanda and I do all the time on trips. Moving on to the second item, and I promise we're going to try to be faster for these next few. It's a bamboo spork or a reusable cutlery set. You can also just take some cutlery with you from your house, and this prevents the use of unnecessary plastic cutlery when you're on your trip. We're going to Whole Foods right now. We got our little bags. I got mine in here. And there goes my water bottle and the bag. Cool. Next, we have food storage items, like a reusable stainless steel container, which are lightweight and usually leak-proof, and wax wraps, which are so small and easy to carry. And you can just keep them in your storage container like I do. And if you don't have a storage container, bring a sealable jar, like a mason jar, and you can use these items over and over and it will save you money as well. Yeah, it definitely does for us at least because you don't waste food that way and you get more out of a single meal. And we don't know about you, but we're really not the biggest fans of airport food. It's just so expensive and it's always in plastic. Something else that I also do is bring a little soft cooler, especially on road trips, and old cereal bags for storage. It sounds really weird, but I end up using them so much. So apart from doing some zero waste food prep and bulk shopping for food essentials for our trip, we also try to stay at places like an Airbnb or hostel that has a kitchen so we don't have to eat out every meal. And don't forget you can easily compost on a trip with any container that you have. Just keep putting your compostable left leftovers in that and then bury it along the way. We talk more about this in our video on composting, so make sure to check that video out. We're at the trailhead, Yay! and we're about to go hiking. <laughs> check out how much bigger my pack is than Amanda's. This is... It's about the same like weight. Like a child. Like, I mean, you know. <laughs> The next item is a shopping bag and bulk bags, which you can use to buy items in bulk while on your trip, and these come in super handy. 
Next, we have a reusable cloth napkin. Because even though you might think, oh, what's the big deal with the paper napkin? It still took resources to produce that single-use paper napkin and it's wasteful. Since we're trying to be more conscious about any waste that we're producing, not just plastic, this can be a great item to have on you. And this can really be any little towel or piece of cloth you have because it's multi-use. <laughs> And most of these items we keep in our car, and if we're going somewhere for the day, we make sure to bring these items along with us. Yeah, it's not just for long trips, you know? And we talk about tips and tricks regarding these items in our top 10 Eco Challenge videos, so be sure to check those out. The next items are all toiletries, starting with soap, shampoo, and lotion bars, which all last longer on trips and are easier to travel with than liquids. I like to always take my Castile soap with me in a bar form because it's multi-purpose and I end up using it for all sorts of things, especially on camping and hiking trips. A couple of other toiletries that I personally bring with me are my reusable organic cloth facial rounds, which are a wonderful zero waste substitute to single use facial wipes, and my organic face oil that I make myself. I have really sensitive skin, so it's a must for me. I put it in a little upcycled plastic bottle that I reuse because being low waste isn't just about being plastic free and reducing, it's also about reusing and repurposing. I just use my shea butter for face and body and also keep it in a repurposed container. Next, we have all natural plastic free sunscreen in a reusable tin container. The ones we have are perfect travel size and reef friendly, which is really important to us. It's definitely a must have. Next, we have our bamboo toothbrush and biodegradable travel floss, which are both plastic free. We personally love our soft bristle bamboo toothbrushes. Something else that I bring with me on every trip is my solid toothpaste, which is in bite-sized servings. So it's really easy to know how many I need for my trip based on the length of my stay. Some other plastic-free trip necessities that I always bring with me are my lip balm and carton, my solid deodorant in an upcycled carton lip balm container that I just you know, stuff in there and reuse that way, my bamboo band-aid, and my reusable cloth shower cap. And depending on your trip, you may want to bring stuff like plastic-free all-natural bug spray or a bug repellent lotion bar like the one that I use and love. And a bug bite balm for those itchy bug bites. And even your reusable feminine hygiene products if you know those will be needed. so much for watching please make sure to like and share this video and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already we have lots of videos on living greener challenges eco gifts mm -hmm. and they're all very educational with lots of facts in them as well yes so we'll see you on the next video